Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. Amidst the presidential election petition tribunal judgment, a group has urged the Nigerian Appeals Court, the Supreme Court, to restore Nigerian hope in the judiciary. As the Supreme Court said to adjudicate on the judgment delivered by the presidential election petition tribunal, the PEPT on Wednesday, the 6th of September 2023, the Diaspora Action for Democracy in Africa, DADA, has called on the APS courts to restore the hope of Nigerians in the judiciary. In a statement signed by Mr. Uche Martin on Wednesday in Abuja, DADA noted that the decision of the appeal court to uphold the result of the 2023 presidential election has disappointed many Nigerians. The Africans in Diaspora-based organization said that reports of glaring irregularities and non-conformity to the 2022 Electoral Act by the Independent National Electoral Commission are disregrettable and deeply troubling. The group, however, expressed confidence that the Nigerian Supreme Court will uphold Nigerians' constitution about the several issues raised at the tribunal. The group further said that available reports indicate that the tribunal did not base its decision on point of law but rather lends credence to widespread suspicion that the judges have been compromised or coerced. The development has dashed the hopes of millions of Nigerians who believed in the independence of the judiciary. It was further noted that this is a watershed moment in the country's history where the popular notion that the judiciary is the last hope of the common man appears more than a, more like a myth than reality. The group therefore urged the APS courts to restore the hope of Nigerians to the judiciary by dispensing justice fairly without bias, guided by the constitution and based on the merits of the case presented and not employing superfluous technicalities that undermine true justice. The decision of the PEPT has deflated the morale of millions of Nigerians who cast their votes in the hope of obtaining the good governance the country desperately needs to emerge from the hardship and suffering the masses are experiencing. We hope that the PEPT judgment will be carefully reviewed at the Supreme Court and the APS Court will be strong defenders of the Constitution and issue an objective and fair judgment without bias or favor based on the evidence pre- presented before it. We appear we are also appealed to all Nigerians to remain calm and vigilant as active citizens. We have previously expressed concern as limitation placed on freedom of the press, freedom of citizens to peaceful protest and other human rights violations. The absence of this fundamental freedom is signaling that the democracy in Nigeria is in regression. The Federal Republic of Nigeria, which is a country in the West Africa, it is situated between the Sahel to the north and the Gulf of Guinea to the south in the Atlantic Ocean. It's close, it covers an area of 923,769 square kilometers and with a population of over 230 million. It is the most populous country in Africa and the world's sixth most populous country. Nigeria borders Niger in the north, Chad in the northeast, Cameroon in the east and Benin to the in the west. Nigeria, which is a federal republic comprising of 36 states and the federal capital territory where the capital in Abuja is located. The largest city in Nigeria is Lagos State, one of the largest metropolitan areas in the world and the largest in Africa. The Federal Republic of Nigeria has been home to several indigenous pre-colonial states and kingdoms since the second millennium BC with the Nook civilization in the 15th century BC marking the first internal unification in the country. The modern state originated with British colonization in the 19th century, taking its present territorial shape with the merging of the Southern Nigerian Protectorate and the Northern Nigerian Protectorate in 1914 by Lord Lugard. The British set up administrative and legal structures while practicing indirect rule through traditional chiefdoms in the Nigerian region. Nigeria became a formally independent federation on the 1st of October 1960. It experienced a civil war from 1967 to 1970, 
followed by a succession of military dictatorships and democratically elected civilian governments until achieving a stable democracy in the 1999 presidential election. The 2015 general election was the first time an incumbent president failed to be re-elected. Nigeria, which is a multinational state inhabited by more than 250 ethnic groups speaking 500 distinct languages, all identify with a wide variety of cultures. The three largest ethnic groups are the Aousa in the north, Yoruba in the west, and the Igbo in the east, together constituting over 60% of the total population. The official language is English, choos chosen to facilitate linguistic unity at the national level. The Nigerian constitution ensures the jury freedom of religion and it is home to some of the world's largest Muslim and Christian population. Nigeria is, a divided, is divided roughly in half between Muslims who live mostly in the north and Christians who live mostly in the south. Indigenous religions such as those native to the Igbo and Yoruba ethnicities are in the minority. Nigeria is an original power in Africa and a middle and emerging power in international affairs. Nigeria's economy is the largest in Africa, the 31st largest in the world by nominal GDP, and the 26th largest by PPP. Nigeria is often referred to as the giant of Africa, owing to its large population and economy, as it is considered to be an emerging market by the World Bank. However, the country ranks very low in the Human Development Index and remains one of the most corrupt nations in the world. Nigeria is a founding member of the African Union and a member of many international organizations, including the United Nations, the Commonwealth of Nations, NAM, the Economic Committee of West African States, ECOWAS, Organization of Islamic Cooperation, and OPEC. It is also a member of the Informal Means Group of Countries and is one of the next 11 communities. Nigeria's Nigeria's economy, which is the largest in Africa, the 31st in the world by nominal GDP and the 30th largest by PPP. GDP per capita is 9,148 US dollars, which is less than South Africa, Egypt, or Morocco, but a little more than Ghana or Ivory Coast. Nigeria is a leader in Africa as an energy power, financial market, in pharmaceutical, and in the entertainment industry. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.